I wanted to bring up a known issue that Dayton Audio has with their lithium battery chargers. It's um, specifically on the version two models of the LBB 5SV3. That's for the 18650 lithium batteries, um, five of them in series. Uh, output is 21 volts. There's a, an issue where yeah. the board goes into protect. Um, you, you can pop it out of protect by putting the charger on the um, on the charging end of it. Uh, but wanted to go over what I did to go around bypassing that that protect mode, if you will. So I already have my board. It's already inside my project here that I have. Um, and I was way too far ahead to try to dismantle. I'm doing a little bit of research. Um, I ended up using what I had on hand, which are these. I had four of them, as you can see, I used two. So I put them in parallel. So these combined on the output of number seven, seven, eight. Um, I have, just for purposes of this video, connected this to port six here, and you can see the other one, the uh, that red wire in the back and, and black, There, that's where the resistors are connected to, up, down, through, right there. It's kind of dim, but there's where I connected these resistors one per cable and here you can easily tell if it went into protect if these LEDs I'll put the LED button here didn't come on then we'd have a problem as soon as I plug this in and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn that off because there's no need that's connected to the one to the port seven that's connected to port six. As soon as I plug it in, I push this, and look, that inrush current sent the board right into protect mode. Another way of checking is you, you do see a little bit of output on here. So it tells me it's went into protect. As soon as I plug this in, it's still plugged in right there. As soon as I plug this in here, it sends the current right back. And there it is right there. It's already on. It's already providing, I had the setting on the wrong voltage read. Now that I, re you could say reset it by plugging the charger in, you can tell there's current and I can turn that on, no problem. It's gotta read. So there, there's nothing outside of that, the protection uh, wrong with the amp board. It's just the inrush current that sends it right into protect the way it was explained to me was that it is like an overprotective child, or uh, parent rather, and it wants to protect the entire board for any possible, it's extremely oversensitive is what it is. So they're gonna dial it back, Dayton Audio is, so that it doesn't doesn't send it into, into protect. They did say another way of, of doing this instead of, um, Using resistors, you can use capacitors. It works just just the same, but it, I think it's like a one uh, microfarad uh, capacitor that you would put in line. This is um, what I had on hand um, that worked that that works for me. The suggested value is is actually a half ohm, a quarter of a watt. So, because this is what I had, that's what I'm gonna use, and it works just fine. So, as soon as I take this off, look, it works just fine. I turn this on, 
and this is with the resistors just fine so hope this helps you guys out there's nothing really wrong with the amp board it's just over sensitive to inrush current and i did not mention why i use this configuration this specific configuration um the two in parallel uh, actually drop down the value of each from four ohms to two ohms making it closer to the half ohm um i from what i'm told bringing the um that resistance value up higher would um not work as expected that's why you wanted it to be as close to what half half ohm that i, I said uh so these were kind of um you know like like your voice calls and your speakers um, when you put them in series like this and this you actually end up with doubling up in value it's extremely difficult without a cameraman so that is four plus four and it's janky multimeter so there you go that's about eight and here they are in pal parallel so it's both of them touching um, on each side so that would be as if it were negative negative and positive and positive and that's a better shot that's about two you just have to hold them down so that's the explanation as to why it was that i used those again half ohm Quarter of a watt, this is overkill, way overkill, but it's all right. Excuse me, it's what I had, it's what I'm going to use.